What is going on boys and girls, it is Julian now back here with a brand new video and today I am bringing you my BPL starter squad. This is my actual team that I do play every day FIFA with. I do play seasons and you know squad battles and everything like that with it. Um, you got my second team on the bench down there, a little cheeky French team uh, with obviously Ben Arthur, Dembele and that informed Valbuena who is really, really decent for like 11k. He's pretty sick. But yeah, we've got a star BPL team. Um, and this year, non-rare is the way forward. Because there's so many amazing non-rare players in the game that I just don't I think people aren't obviously gonna just look past because well they're they're non-rares and people don't really like non-rares, do they? They don't think they look good. Um but there's so so many good players. Um and this team is fantastic. It took me it took me a while to get the right um the, the, like the right team because I did have a 3 5 2 with a few loans in it, and then I wanted to actually make a full team without loans in it. And I went for a 4 1 2 1 2 number 2, and it didn't work. And I went for a 4 3 3 like this one. Then I used like three or four different, you know, strikers and stuff like that. It took me ages to get, you know, the right, the, um, the right combination in a sense of what is needed. Um, but this team I end up making was fantastic. I played, I think, four games or five games with it. Um, and it played brilliantly. A couple of players have played more games than others, but you know, I think in the four games or five games, wherever it was, um, I did get 15 goals um, because I have a really dodgy throat at the minute. I have a really bad cough. I'm trying my damn hardest not to cough during this bit. And I'm just going to put the video with the clips at the end, play some music over it like I, did, like I used to when I first started YouTube, just because I don't think my voice is actually going to hold out the entire time. In goal, we originally went with Ben Foster. He played. He's played seven games for me. And I bought him on the web app before I even got the early access. Um, but he just wasn't doing it for me. So I went for Carnesis in goal. Because last year was one of my favourite players on the entire game. He had a fantastic inform goalkeeper, goalkeeper card. And he's now moved over to Watford. He's got 80 diving, 84 reflexes, 83 handling and 80 positioning. 6 foot 3 as well. And it's only a 1,000 coins. This team is really, really cheap. There's a couple of like 3.5k players in here. But it's no more than 15k that I got. He is a fantastic goalkeeper and obviously now can link up Bundesliga and the Serie A with the Premier League with, you know, uh, Socrates and Manila. So he's, he's a fantastic goalkeeper. Saved me a hell of a lot. Right back, we go for Cedric Suarez, or Suarez, I think is how you pronounce it. Uh, it's 82 pace, 76 dribbling, 76 defending, 72 passing and 72 physical. He's a very solid right back. 3.2k um, but he played really well, you know, I couldn't see any problem with his game whatsoever. Left back, we go for Alberto Moreno, the Liverpool uh, left back, the pacey little be uh, biatch, as I like to call him. 88 paces, so quick, and 77 dribbling, 67 defending, 74 physical, 68 passing. He's got pretty average stats, but, you know, all about that pace. Uh, high low work rates, which is probably a bit of a letdown. And he's 2.3k, Cedric was 3.2, so... So far, it isn't too bad for a Prem team. I should probably set it to Premier League, actually. Two set of we go for. We go for Mamadou Sacco on the left. A 61 pace, 80 defending, and 85 physical. And he partners up with now non-rare Angelo Agbona. 69 pace, 82 defending, and 77 physical. Six foot three, 950 coins. He got a goal in one uh, in the four games. And it's probably the funniest header I've ever scored because Joe Hart completely misses the ball. Um, but he's a fantastic centre back. Mamadou Sacco is a fantastic centre back. He only cost me fifteen hundred coins. He's medium high, six foot two. So so far the defence and goalkeeper works out perfectly. Midfield gets even better. First centre we go for Jack Wilshire. He is probably going to be one of the most underrated midfielders on FIFA 18 because he works in the midfield. Seventy one pace, eighty two dribbling, at nine uh, sorry, sixty nine shooting. 80 passing, 72 physical, 5 for 8, 3 star skill moves, 5 goals and 2 assists in 6 games, which is a ridiculous return. In the middle we go for Korean Ki Sung Young from Swansea, 65 pace, 75 dribbling, 74 shooting, 81 passing and 70 physical. He's 6 foot 1 with medium high work rates, that is the main reason this guy is there. I played 6 games with this guy, he's got 1 goal and 1 assist, so he played very, very solid. And the final midfielder is Danny Drinkwater, 66 pace, 76 shoot, uh, dribbling. 65 shooting, 74 defending, 75 passing, 75 physical. In all the areas, minor shooting, the ones that matter for a midfielder, he's got brilliant stats in there. He's 5 foot 10, 4 star weak foot, which is so good to have on a midfielder. 750 coins, 9 games, 2 goals, 6 assists, which is a brilliant record. Ki Sung Young, I paid 1300 coins for. You can get him on a bid for like 800, but I was really, really struggling at the time of building this team. Um, so I ended up just finding him the cheapest by now. 
it turns out he was uh, that 1300 quid was the cheapest buy now so so far this team is not even that expensive it, minus the right back um, it is all under 2k which is fantastic right mid or right wing uh, it's Christian Atsu. This guy is just pace. 60, uh, sorry, 91 pace. 79 dribbling. 67 shooting. And he scored four goals in six games. Which is stupid. Because he's got a great... He's got a great turn of pace. He's got a great ball control. And he's got a great finish finish when he gets into the uh, into the box. He's got high low work rates as well. He's free star, free star. Left foot on the right hand side. He's played thirteen hundred coins for him, so he's and again not that expensive. Striker, we go for uh, Mame Biram Juf. Obviously, he's playing right wing back for Stoke in real life. So I was hoping they wouldn't convert him. They haven't. They've left him as a striker. 83 pace, 68 dribbling, which is madness. 75 shooting, 78 physical, six foot one, high medium wide crease, three star, three star, four goals, four assists in five games. He, you know, originally had Dwight Gale up front, and he just wasn't doing anything. He was too short. He wasn't defend. Uh, he wasn't competing with defenders well enough. He wasn't winning anything in the air. So I swapped him out. I wanted to striker that's relatively tall, relatively quick, and relatively decent, like Dembele, because Dembele is six foot one, uh, six foot tall, four star skills, and he's pacey as well. That's what I wanted. I wanted a striker like that, and Juf ticks every single box in that criteria, and he played brilliantly. And there's a goal you're going to see in the clips at the end of him out muscling the 88th legend or uh, icon, Rio Ferdinand, which is ridiculous, especially considering the fact what is his in game strength? Oh, whoopsie. His in game strength is 80. So he's only got 80, 80 strength and he outmarkled him. Um, but he has 92 jumping, which is madness. And the final player is left winger Sofiane Buffal, the five star skiller from Southampton. 82 pace, 85 dribbling, 71 shooting, 72 passing. High low work rates, four star weak foot, and obviously five star skill moves. Six games, one goal, two assists. This guy was less used in the entire team. I don't know why. <coughs> Pardon me. I don't know why. He just wasn't that in the game. You know, every time I got the ball with him, it ended up just being run into the box. And give the ball away and then pass it again and it'll score. Um, but he, to be fair, he's not a bad. He's not a bad left winger. He's three point seven k. So he's the most expensive player in the team. But you know that does bring him up price wise to the team to being about fifteen k. But again, cheap beastly team. This will remain my team for a while until I know until I get more coins so I can upgrade players. You know, I, I obviously want to get Rafa and Bailly because they look insane. I want to pick up Rashford because he looks mental. Um, Clarsen looks sick Dembele every beast BPR player I want to get in this team so obviously I will be upgrading this team as much as I possibly can but this is a brilliant 15k starter team go out and buy it I would highly recommend every single one of the 11 players that's currently on your screen at the present moment but that has been the squad boys I hope everyone enjoyed as always well say as always for the first time in about 6 or 7 months there's going to be clips at the end with the music over the top of the goals I did pick up with this team because my voice is already starting to go and it really starts to hurt um <laughs> links down to Twitter and Instagram in the description below go down there drop me a follow drop a like on the video and drop a sub if you're around here we're just 12 subs away from that big 100 so please sub if you're around here until next time guys have an amazing day and I shall see you all later bye
Riding these horizons, we'll find our way. 